Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is Richard again for this edition of Learning with Rich. Okay, so in this lesson, <coughs> excuse, I'm going to teach you how to create uh, 3D cutaway views. Right, so as you work on your project to create lots of views for various purposes, the one of the most useful uh, types of views is a 3D view. Okay, so most of you will agree with me, which can actually give a valuable insight into how the AEC building design is shaping up over the course of the project. Okay, so in this exercise, for you to be able to follow what I'm going to do is, I'm going to open here a sample file so that you can also open yours. Okay, so just go to open, sample files, and then let's look for... RME uh, sample project. All right, so let's open up this one. All right. Okay, and then after that, before we create the 3D cutaway views, so let me just change here my project browser. Okay, so this is the default settings of the sample project. So let me just go ahead and right click the browser here. And then select browser organization so you'll be able to see here the different views for the browser organization so i'll just use the type discipline here okay the type discipline and then i'm going ahead and select okay so you will notice your project browser here will change okay it's based on the type and discipline so it's the type and then the discipline okay right okay so when you first create a 3d view how do you create your 3D view, by the way? Or if you want to open your default 3D view, what you can do is you can go to your uh, tools here and the quick access toolbar. So I go ahead and select the default 3D view here. So just click that and then it will open up the uh, default 3D view. Okay. In this sample project, the default 3D view is oriented at northwest isometric view okay but uh most of the time or usually when you start your project and then you create your 3d the orientation of that is uh southeast okay so when you first create a 3d view the default 3d view is oriented from the southeast and it's just a basic overall axonometric view of the building model but of course, you can modify that 3D view in a variety of ways. And one of the most useful things that we're going to do is we're going to create a cutaway 3D view. Okay, so these are 3D views where you're actually cutting into the model and seeing inside of it, but still maintaining the axonometric type of view. Okay, so after I create the default 3D view. So what I'm going to do is I need to locate here that particular 3D view. Okay, so let me just go ahead and select 3D views and then look for uh, mechanical. So that's the 3D view. Okay, so as you can see, it's highlighted. And then if you also check the properties here. Okay, all right. So you will see that the name of that view is 3D, right? So there's a couple different ways we can do that to create the 3D cutaway view. So I'm going to start out with the manual way that you could achieve uh, this effect. Okay. So here in my default 3D view is all you have to do is you go to the properties and then from the properties, you can see here the section box. Okay. So there's the section box here. So all you have to do is you have to click that okay and then just wait for a while so it will now show here the section box okay so if you select the section box it will have grip controls on each edge okay and then you can use those grip controls to begin the cutting away portion of the model and if you drag them far enough, so let's say, for example, I'm going to go ahead and select the section box. I click this one. Okay. Right. 
There you go. Okay. So, if you want to highlight also, okay, let me just stop first on cropping my view. Okay. So, if you want to show the architectural model highlighted, same with your uh, mechanical things or electrical things. Because here in this view, it only highlights the mechanical. Okay. It's not highlighting the, the architectural. So, what I'm going to do is, from the discipline here, I click the drop down arrow. Okay, you click that and then you just need to look for coordination. So you click the coordination and there you go. So it will now also highlight your architectural. So you may want to change the visual style to, let's say, consistent colors. There you go. Okay. So you are now able to see the architectural and then the MEP side of your, your model. Okay. So this is the first option that you can do to create a cutaway view. So let's say, oh, I only want to highlight or I only want to show this 3D uh, portion here of my model, okay? So using your section box, you can actually go to the top of your view cube to control the top portion, and then you can click the section box, and then you click the control grip, so you wanna place it here, okay? And then you can show it like this, Show it like this. There you go. And then after that, you can go ahead and select again the home here to orient your view to southeast orientation. Okay, so southeast. Okay, so if you are going to click again, you can still crop that. And then you will be able to see some details of your model here. You can actually see what is inside your model. Okay, this is actually the first... Uh, uh, our first way to create a cutaway view. <coughs> so what I'd like to do is going back to my 3D view. Where is that 3D view? Since I already changed the discipline of that to architectural, or I mean to coordination, you will not be able to see it here anymore, right? Under the mechanical. So it's now already in the coordination. Because like what I have said earlier, I have changed the discipline to coordination. That's why... You are not able to see it anymore here under the mechanical. So I go to the coordination and then you click the plus icon and then you will see there your 3D. So what I'd like to do is, okay, so let's say this is my first cutaway view. So I'm going to rename this. I'll right click this one and then after that I'll rename. So let's say this is the north portion of my model. So I'll just select it north. North away or whatever name that you want okay and then you enter okay so this is the first way okay so you can use your uh, section box but let's say for example you don't want to see your section box here okay but you of course you still want to crop your view but you don't it's just you don't want to see the section box what you can do is do not okay do not uncheck the section box here because what will happen it will uh, return back again the whole model okay okay it will not crop your whole model yeah yeah it will hide your section box but the whole model will be shown again so what you can do is you can actually click that and then right click the section box and then from the options you can hide that elements there you go okay so that is your first cutaway okay another option is you can actually use your view cube Okay, so how to do that? So let me just go ahead and open, let's say, my mechanical floor plan here. So let me open the level one HPAC duct plan. Okay, so what uh, what I'd like to do is I'm going to create a section here. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and create a section. Uh, how about here? So I create a section here. Okay, there you go. So I'll just create a section like this. Uh, okay, so this is the section. So what's the name of this section? The name of this section is section 9. Okay. Oh, how am I going to find it here? Okay, so it's in the section. Uh, what's the discipline of this? Uh, okay, the discipline of my section 9 is... Section 9, discipline is mechanical. So I go to the... 
uh, section. Where's the section? Okay, the section and mechanical section 9. Okay, so if I open this one, this is actually the section that I just created, right? Okay, so let me just go back again to my level 1 HVAC duct plan. Of course, you can always select that, right click, and then go to view. Okay, if you're having a difficulty finding that section here on your uh, project browser, you can actually right click that one. Okay, or you can double click the head here. Okay, let me just select modify. And then you can double click the head here to open the section. So you have multiple ways to open your section. Now, now that we know the name of this is section 9, so what I'm going to do is, okay, so I'm going to um, create a 3D view. So let me create a 3D view again. So let me click this one. All right, so it's now here on my coordination. Since earlier, I already changed the... The discipline to coordination okay so i just created a, a new 3d view now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my uh, view cube here to create the section 9 3d view so to do that you just need to right click any part of your view cube okay and then after that you can go to orient to view and as you can see you will be able to see okay the Types here, floor plans, elevation, sections, which is what we need, and 3D view. So I'll go ahead and expand the section. And then you look for the section that you just created, which is section 9. Okay, so I go ahead and select the section 9. And boom! Okay, it will reorient your 3D view. Right? Okay, so let me just go ahead and select the home here. So as you can see, automatically what Revit just did is it creates the cutaway 3d view of that uh, 3d using the section okay let me just uh, change the visual style let's say shaded view okay so this is how it looks like okay so this is the 3d view of the section 9 okay so how good is Revit see it's nice right again um, if you want to hide your section box all you have to do is you just need to click that right click hide in view elements okay so this is the second way to create your cutaway view so let's say let me just rename this again so this is my section 9 cut away right okay the third option that you can do is okay let me just go back again to my uh, section uh, level one HVAC duct plan. Okay, okay. The next option that you can do to create your cutaway view is right. So let's say this portion you want to create a cutaway view of this portion. So I'm going to select that portion, this one. Okay, I select this portion. Right. So after you select this portion, the next thing that you can do is you go to the view panel. You can now see this tool here. The name is selection box. So it isolates selected elements in the current view or the default 3D view. Okay. So this is actually a new feature in 2017. Okay. It's a new feature in 2017. So this is a very cool new feature. All right. So I'll go ahead and select this one. There you go. So you just create that very fast. So all you have to do is to select your elements and Revit will do the rest for you. So using that selection box. Okay. As you can see, it also creates a new 3D view here. So let me just rename this one. This is my uh, selection box cat away or whatever name that you want. So, so we have three ways. Okay, so if you if you do have other uh, ways for you to be able to create your cutaway view, that's fine. Okay, so that means you have 
uh, a lot of experience now in Revit. Okay, so once again, um, hopefully you learned something from this video. So just a quick recap. So the three three types of cutaway, uh, 3D cutaway views that we just did is we use the section box. We create it manually. And then the second one is we right click the view cube, orient the view, and then we select here the view that we want to generate the 3D. And then the third option is we use the selection box. All right? So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right? Once again, this is Rich. Have a nice day.